So I want to talk about this DMX situation. Growing up, DMX was one of my favorite rappers, and in my freshman year of college, I listened to no one but DMX, Kendrick Lamar, and a few other people. And so I was really able to connect with a lot of his emotion, a lot of the different things he was talking about, and it was timely music for me in that time. So when I heard that DMX was being hospitalized and under critical care in the ICU for overdose, which led to several heart attacks and him being in the situation that he's in, it was heartbreaking for me and it was scary. And as more and more news came out about the limited brain activity that he has and how it's likely that he's experienced brain damage and they're not sure what is going to happen with him, it's been heartbreaking for me personally. And one of the reasons why it really hurts my heart is when you really take the time to do a little bit of research on DMX. Now he has a lot of messy situations that he's been in. He's done a lot of dirt. He's definitely got his fair share of transgressions. But if you followed him, you would know that he's always been outspoken about his faith, not ashamed to do prayers and to talk about Jesus and to talk about God, but having so much mess surrounding him. But I firmly do believe that his drug issues that he's had has really plagued him more than anything and when you hear that his first introduction to these drugs was as a young person being introduced by the same person who introduced him to hip-hop so he came back with a blunt rolled up and as i'm counting the money he likes the blunt and i said i, I was impressed oh, I, got, I don't really smoke and he passed the blunt around and um it, it, and I hit the blood and I'm like, like, yeah, I'm like, and um, I later found out that he, uh, he laced the blood with, with, with the crack. It's heartbreaking because that person has such a level of influence and when you listen to DMX talk about that and talk about his testimony. Drugs were a symptom of a biggest problem, hmm. a bigger hmm. problem. Hmm. And, um, you know, um, there was things that I went through in my childhood and where I just blocked it out, blocked it out, blocked it out. But it, there's only so much you can block out, you know, before you run out of space. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you never know when, you know, the things you stored away are just going to come out and just fall all over the place. It's heartbreaking to know that how how impactful such a negative influence at an early age can have on a person who, by all accounts, had attained such great success. I mean, he went one year where he had two platinum albums all in that same year, which is unheard of. And he was very successful, but there was always this fight between him and his struggles, his demons. He's always talking about fighting his demons. And he also would be outspoken about the struggles that he had and that he had to make that decision to stand on the God. And he was always wrestling with his flesh. We've even heard that he was trying to become a minister and that he had been under training for that. So I don't know, though I don't have any comment on those things, but what makes this sad is just knowing that somebody dealt with so many struggles with addiction, just his upbringing in and out of jail and how feeling like jail was almost like a home to him, a second home that he felt comfort at and it actually felt like normal to him. Just so heartbreaking. And he is not the only person that I would imagine that deals with these type of things. There's people all over this country that probably have a similar testimony experience to him. My heart goes out to his family. I have family that have dealt with addiction, just the back and forth process and just so much emotion tied to them because I know that they authentically love him, but understand that it's not easy to deal with somebody who has drug addictions and how they go through these highs and then if they relapse, how deadly it could be. I say continue to pray for him. We don't know what is going to happen of him today, but let's continue to keep him and his family in prayers that God comforts them. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Leave a comment. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any notifications. I want my way to the top. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I want my way to the top.